Hello everybody, my name is Dizzy, and welcome back to a hell of a blast from the past, because I think I last streamed this game in October 2022, <laughs> and the game itself is obviously from like 2009-2010, uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're, we're back and we're playing, we're playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! I was not necessarily expecting to be uh, playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! today. Uh, and then the game that I was going to be playing uh, didn't work. It's quite sad. It's a, it's a, it was another game key that I got through Keymailer, and I was quite excited to play it. It was called Of Murders and Moonshine. Uh, but it is, it is no worky, for whatever reason. So uh, I needed something else to play, and I was like, hmm, I've been wanting to play a retro game. I say retro game. I've been wanting to play an old game for my catalog. Um, for a while, and I've got one that I was sitting on for ages. <laughs> uh, and so here we are, back again. Uh, Artie says, last time you got a Yu-Gi-Oh game was 2003's Worldwide Edition for the GBA. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I played that one because there are a lot of Yu. <laughs> there are a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh games out there. Um, I do not know which ones I have played. Let me have a look. Worldwide Edition. 2003. Oh, no, I've not played that one. I've played a few. I've played on the GBA, I played a, a, a GX one, and I've played. I've played one, I can't remember what it was called. That was like. It, it didn't know the rules of Yu Gi Oh!, which was quite impressive. <laughs> um. Chuck says he used to play like three Yu Gi Oh games on the PlayStation over and over again. Well, I had. I actually didn't. I, I had a version of this game that I don't think I ever did the story on. And I don't know if I'm technically allowed to say this, but I used a, an action. We, we used action replay codes. All my, my siblings had one. We used action replay codes to just unlock all of the cards because obviously the best thing is, is making a deck that's just like all of the things you want. Uh, and then finding all of the things. So that's what we did, and I never did the story. Um, I'm just going to show you, because uh, I've been busy in the year and a half that I've not played this game before. Uh, and all of the all of the enemies who we had previously beaten, so that's all of this lot, all of this lot, and then this guy, XX Saber Hyunlai. I went away and I've beaten them all 12 times to build up a huge bank of, of chips, and also to get to know my, my deck. Uh, I haven't bought any cards. I've been restricting buying cards off stream so that you can watch me open packs because I know that's supposedly like I don't know, like ketamine or something to to Twitch audiences. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> um, the other thing I did was I did all of the tag duels that we'd previously done and won those all twelve times, and. Shanks says there was the one that was based on the Wars of the Roses. I'm I'm wondering if it if it was that one that I played or if it was like one of the ones around that. Um I wonder if there's a, a Wikipedia article, list of Yu-Gi-Oh games. Uh right. Did you do scrolling down? Because I don't think it was Duelist of the Roses that, uh, that I played. It was Rechef Re of Destruction, which was owned actually by my middle brother. Rechef of Destruction, which was also from 2003, it looks like. Uh, and yeah, a very strange game, like, cards do very random things for no reason. There's like a tight matchup system, I think, in those games. For the, for the different Yu-Gi-Oh types, I'm not quite sure. It's very odd. Um, anyway, yeah, I played some some tag duels against all of these enemies. You'll see I've, I've unlocked some new enemies by doing that. And let me tell you... <laughs> Crow? Can I, where can I see Crow? I think it might be in tag settings. Yeah, Crow, here, my boyfriend. He is the worst. He has a terrible deck. A, a truly, truly atrocious deck. And he doesn't know how to use it. 
<laughs> it's it's genuinely appalling how bad he is at the game. So uh, if we if we come back to World Championship mode, I might try a tag duel with someone else. But uh, we're gonna head into the story mode uh, because I've been I've been putting together a deck, and I'm hoping that we can use this deck to finally beat this pair of guys. This pair of guys who who do a little they do a cheeky two on one to beat me, which is uh, a little bit a little bit sketchy. Um. Hi there, duel. Yes, we have lost to these guys several times, but in practice runs, I'm now able to beat them with my current deck, so we'll see. Uh, Shaka says, one of the things I really enjoyed was the capsule monsters thing instead of cards. It's obviously a complete different game, still has the same monsters. Ah, uh, see, I, I don't know that. And that wasn't in any of the things that I, I have played. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> We're not winning at, at Rock, Paper, Scissors, necessarily. Alright, let's go in first. So yeah, hopefully the tag dueling experience will partly help me with two-on-one. Basically, for them, it's like a tag duel. So they swap out uh, who's playing. So the, their field stays the same, but they swap out who's playing and the cards in their hand every time they take a turn. Uh, this is actually a fantastic start. This, this is... This could not be a better start, honestly. <laughs> so this is Magical City Blood of Endymion. This is a great spell counter card. Uh, and this is a spell counter themed deck. But the, the key card in this deck is Silent Magician level 4. Uh, who on his own is a bit weak, but he, level, he gets 500 attack during each of the opponent's... Well, every time the opponent draws a card, which in practice is like once per turn. But we can level him up to skip him getting all of his attack and just hike out my absolute main boss monster like straight away pretty much turn one 3500 attack point monster unaffected by enemy spell cards pretty difficult to get rid of <laughs> um shaka says it showed up on the show once this guy was like hey you can play my game are you sure that wasn't Duke Devlin and Dungeon Dice Monsters? Because I, I, not only did I love Dungeon Dice Monsters, but I created rules for, and I think I even created a tabletop simulator like instance of my own game that was moderately heavily based on Dungeon Dice Monsters because I loved the concept of Dungeon Mo Dice Monsters so much. I mean, this guy, this guy is is pretty strong. He'll have a tough time doing too much to to shift him, particularly if we are able to blow up that trap card. Oh, I don't even know what that was. Uh, oh, there was done this one as well. Play the GBA game of that. Maybe the other one didn't show up in the show. You need to go find out. Ah, fair enough. All right, we've had a dead draw, which is a shame. But we've got Magic Jammer, which is fine for a dead draw. What have we got? Uh, okay, that doesn't bother us too much. Um, I don't. Okay, sure. We'll we'll throw him out. We might be able to lure the enemy into taking some damage, and he'll pop another spell counter on our Citadel. So what Citadel does is uh, it collects counters when spells are activated, and then other effects which use spell counters can use its counters instead of their own. And also, it's difficult to destroy because if it's going to be destroyed by an effect, you just get rid of one counter instead. Okay, dokie. Let's run over this thing. Yeah, the, the Kwaki Mairus are particularly mean monsters because they have excellent stats and they have an effect that is like, destroy it unless you reveal a card in your hand. But the revealing a card in, that, in your hand is generally a pretty easy thing for the enemy to do. So it's not really much of a drawback. Alright, we've got our first little chip in. Uh, heavy Storm... Uh, no, I don't want to chain. 
I want to use the effect of magic as well. There we go. Oop, thank you. It even replenishes itself. Ah, that's a shame. <laughs> that's a real shame. I would have loved to magic jam of that. <laughs> Not a problem. So yeah, in the, this is an old version of the of the Yu-Gi-Oh main rules where uh, you, there's only one field spell card at a time, which is kind of crazy. I don't like those two traps, but I also don't have very much I can do about them. It looks like they're not going to stop me from absolutely wrecking this guy's face. So you know. This is the I'm winning music. This is the this is the music that makes one feel cocky. But I must I must resist. Alright, what's he got? Sure. Kaki Mago Bergzak. Uh Oh, that's mean. I mean, it actually doesn't matter to my big guy. Pit wants to move from the field, and this card seems to go over to turn this card to your hand. Okay, that's not a huge deal because, like I said, my big guy isn't affected by spell cards, or the enemy spell cards at least. Uh, and we can pop his attacking monster with my trap. I should leave him open, because he's now spent his, uh,. Now spent his normal sum for the turn. Do I? Do, I I'm assuming people in the chat are, are familiar with the the rules of Yu Gi Oh, right? They, you don't need stuff explaining to you. Now, I could summon this and try and use it to pop some of those face downs. But if one of those face downs is torrential tribute then summoning is actually a worse idea than not. So we're just going to beat him up and assume that seems they didn't use the traps before, they're not going to use them this time. Oh yeah. You feel like you remember enough to keep up? Fantastic. Okay, we beat them. We beat them pretty quickly actually. Seven turns, it, it, is, it is just not quick enough to get the quick game bonus. Amazing. Oh yeah. Monies, multiple CP victory bonus, level monster bonus, bonus bonus because he got so many bonuses. And you can see here we've, we've collected quite a lot of dual points, so we should be able to buy a decent number of cards. <laughs> Artie says, some of the more complicated summoning and Polly you're not up on, but you think so. Your strategy was perfect? Your strategy was perfect, in that your strategy was cheap <laughs> by two on one -ing. Our leader will be furious. We better do whatever it takes to get out of here. We must really work together, dear partner. I think that actually all communicating all of this like just through emotions. That's why it's in brackets. I think they're just like looking at each other deeply into their eyes. This is your doing. You kept getting in my way. You're the one who kept getting in my way. Had you not been so weak, we wouldn't have had so much trouble. If that's how you really feel, then try me. That's just what I've been waiting for. Watch it, you. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, they're out of the way, and we need to do the most important thing after a hard fight, which is to save. <laughs> okay, if, if we get to any of the, like, poly or synchro summoning or whatever, I will I will bring you up to speed, RT. Um, but most of that hasn't been invented yet. Like, there's no Xyz summon, there's no Link summon, there's no Pendulum summon in this game, because they, they don't exist yet. So, it, it, this is more or less either mode, and that's it's kind of one of the reasons why I refer to this as the game's heyday. Like, the seeds of what was going to become bad were already here, but the game wasn't too bad still at this point. Ooh, ooh a little chug there. Uh, I should also remember that I have save states. Yeah. Okay, I also, I have no idea, like, what's actually going on. Oh, no. 
Oh no, the sliding box puzzle. <laughs> uh, research the capsule monsters of the game is based on a collectible figure game in the manga. Came up before the anime miniseries of capsule monsters. Spinning together how Yugi came to play the capsule monsters thing with how he came to play Dungeon Dice monsters and putting them together. I see. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a big room with lots of Team Rocket style conveyor belts. No obvious way to get in here. Ah, but there's bridges on the left. So to get to that box, we need to go to where those bridges come out. Which I think involves going up these stairs. Can I run? I cannot run. We are we are stuck going at slow speed and the game is, is running poorly. Ah, okay, but on the bridges, there's more conveyor belts. I see. There's a conveyor there that was pushing me. There's a conveyor up here that will be pushing me. So only one way to go from here. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> this is a huge room. Ah, okay. I can't pull. I can only push. Good to know. Alright. Well, we've got one box. Contains a starship. Nice. Um, okay, so this down here will take me back. Uh, the question really is, where do I, where do I want to be going? I think I want to be going this way. This will get me up here to this box. DP code for a thousand money. That's awesome. I don't know if I can push this too far and get stuck. I'm going to assume not. Well, maybe I can. Interesting. Okay. I don't want to push that. Well, no, that's that's actually fine because when I get there, I'll be able to push that out of the way. Okay. This is a a, a a difficult room. Some of the sliding box puzzles in this game are actually quite challenging. <clears throat> More challenging than you might expect, given like what the game is and who its target audience is and how. You weren't probably expecting sliding box puzzles to be a major mechanic anyway. Right. Okay. Um. I need to be on the other side of this. I don't think I can do that with how this box is placed. I think I can get there, which is unfortunate. Um, yeah, I I want. I need to go down past this, which means pushing this box to the left or right, which I can't do. I might have to leave and come back to reset the room. It's, it's possible that not everything's going to be available on one pass. I don't even know if I can, I can get out of the room yet. Alright. I actually genuinely don't know if I can get out of the room. Because there, there's a mini-map on the top screen. But obviously I can't... I can't uh, see whether these things are, the sliders are on it. I might not be able to get out. Is 
there a Y? Hang on. Ah, I can reset. Does that get rid of all the boxes that I've I've currently consumed if I reset? Yeah, okay. Doing so will erase any item info gained on the map. I see, okay. Hmm. God, this is really tricky. My poor little brain is is not really up for this. Oh well, this is a better start. Turn to TP codes. Okay, the next question is: Can I leave? And come back, and then that item will remain gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know. Okay, that item does remain got. So that's good. Right. The next question is how to deal with these boxes, though. push that, so maybe I push that, and then, no, I, I, I can't, hmm. there's something you're brain you're not even playing, I'm glad I'm not alone, oh, I might have just scuffed myself again. Oh no, I can still, currently I can still get out this way. Alright, so let's bank this. <laughs> let's leave the room and come back and bank this thing that I grabbed. the way out from here because those will push me back and this pushes me back and obviously that pushes me back so this is the only way out of that area so what do we do we have to push this box we have to push that box we are forced to do so we now have a choice of which box to push I think it has to be this box. Okay, so the, pushing these boxes over here, that's never going to be a problem. Okay, so what if I push this box up? Leave that box where it is. Right, and then if I come grab this. Okay, we're not going to push this box all the way over this time. We're just going to push it to there, because that lets us get back to here. Right, we've got wiggle room. We we can't we cannot possibly get to here without having first pushed this box all the way down. Or can we? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna reset. Did 
to do. I'm fairly sure that's cut us off from their pump. I don't think we can undo that now. But we can do this. And then push this up. And that will let us get down here. Then we can push that to the side. And that to the side. And that will let us get here. One out clothes. Amazing. God, I'm so lucky. <laughs> uh, but I'm not certain if we can get out of here. I actually don't think it's possible to get out of here. Because there's only this crate, and you can't move it more than that. What? What? <laughs> Who designed this? Oh, oh no, I know what you have to do. You have to push that crate first. Oh, what a disaster. Okay. <laughs> We're getting this really, really slowly. <laughs> it's probably incredibly painful. I know certainly having to do this dialogue at the start every time is really painful. Okay, up here. Over here. Over here. Something is better than not at all. Thanks, I hope. Um, so we decided it was this one, this one, and then we'll block ourselves out of this for now. So we need to push that in before we go in. I did need to do that. That was silly. Probably doesn't matter. Then we can push this up there and then get out. Amazing. You changed one of clothes. Fantastic. Now, how do we get out? Uh, that is the question. I think I might have scuppered it by pushing this one too far over. Or uh, da 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 da. Is there a way out up here? No. Okay. I have still I have still scuppered it. <laughs> In spite of everything. That's a real shame. Okay, right. <laughs> We're making progress. Oh, I like how the last person to see you're a genius. Oh dear. Oh dear, it's okay. You really thought I had it? I really thought I had it. I always get those two conveyor belts mixed up. <laughs> oh, the bee. Okay. Do I have to push this all the way down here? I know I have to push that all the way down there. 
this one over. This one blocks us out. And this one comes down. This one gets us over. That one goes in. That one goes back. Not like that. Definitely not like that. <laughs> hmm. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, hi there. We have a Graham in the chat. Welcome. I see what you've done this. By moving this puzzle correctly, you've activated the trap. And Boom Boom is awake as well. Amazing. Wonderful. Thank you so much for the hydrate, Artie. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, wakey wakey. You are a cutie in your area. In my area? You're a cutie in your area. Sometimes you're also a cutie in my area. Um... <laughs> we are currently being defeated by a sliding box puzzle. Uh, and it doesn't feel good. Okay, I'm gonna push this down here and see if it's possible for me to move two boxes at once. I'd be very surprised if it is possible for me to move two boxes at once. But I'm going to do it just in case. No, it is not possible for me to move two boxes at once. Hmm. Objectively, one of these must be the correct way of doing it. <laughs> I just have to find out what it is. There's only so many moving parts. Uh, Boom says, is the drummer bass in the game? Yes. Is it? Is the is the volume an, uh, an uncomfortable noise? Does it need to be louder or quieter? Artie says, who designed this puzzle I want to word? I want to know why whoever designed this puzzle didn't make a slightly puzzle game. A slightly box puzzle game <laughs> instead of putting this in a Yu Gi Oh game for children. <laughs> yeah, this this era was very kind of that style of music, I think. Hmm. Okay. So, what if you. Yes. We push you down. Push you over, and then we push you all the way up, which means we have a way out around here and up. It's good, it just seems an odd choice. Huh? Yuki has gone through lots of phases, I guess. <laughs> all of this, by the way, we're doing for an item that is called Worn Out Clothes. <laughs> That's what's in this box at the end. Is that box you move to the right stops you going to the top left corner. I know. I don't think you have to do it all in one go because we've we've gone out several times and back in, and it only resets from the moment you last walked in. So this will let us grab that and then leave, and then we can come back in, and then we can figure out how to get the top left corner and escape. Because we got the top left corner before, we just didn't get the top left corner and then escape. And having done that, I'm also going to drop a save date. Uh, <laughs> because I do not want to ever have to do that again. I don't think I have that much brain. So yeah, if we go across here, we should see that that one is still, still gone, still grabbed. There's a lot of walkway for not a lot of stuff, it seems to me. I just have to figure out how to get that one. 
but I will come back to that. Okay. So. Now, we are just concerned with getting over here to this one. I think this is easy. Yeah, look, see, it's gone. It's, it's, I've grabbed it. And I have it now, forever. This is some deal points. Okay. Then we have to figure out how we're getting out. Ah, like this? Are we free? We're free! Amazing! I did it! Oh, my character has, uh... <laughs> was doing a little bit of a slide there. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, one more thing in here to get. And I don't think it's from going this way, so I think it must be from here somehow. Well, it's not left from here, so it has to be... That lets me get into here. It doesn't help me get to where I'm trying to go. Uh, okay. So how do I get there? Oh, I have to go under this. Okay. No, that's fine. I was just too blind to see that I could do that. Just walk this way? No, there's a thingy there. There's one there as well. Amazing! Star chip! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna run very quickly all the way... No, I'm not. I'm just gonna say state this as well. Okay. We got everything from the room. We're professionals. Oh, there's a safe thing right here as well. It's Yusei! Hi! You're like the, the main character or something. Ah, you're doing some main character activities, I see. <laughs> um, Halen, ugh, not working, just let go, keep this up and you'll fall too? Are you nuts? I can't just leave you, no way. Gra! <laughs> He's just hanging out, says Boom. I'm definitely not letting you go. You're my friend. Gosh, if only there was somebody else around nearby who could who could help you say up, along with Caelan. Isn't that precious? You two warm my heart? Uh-oh. I never thought that trap would work. It snared both of you! I wonder how much longer you continue this little game of friendship. All I have to do is hurt you just a little to get you to let go. Uh-oh, I think we need to run interception. But we're stuck in cutscene time. Let go, I'll be okay somehow. What What was his trap, I wonder? Was his trap just a railing that was weak, that he thought they would lean against? I'll never let go, even if it means the end of me. Time to play the hero, huh? What are you doing here? You're not in the- you're not in the anime! <laughs> I'm gonna tickle him. So you'd like to fall together? Well, in that case, I'm sure it can be arranged. Dizzy! We're okay here. I got this! He just put that guy in its place. I don't think you do got this, Kaylin, but okay. So what'll it be? I very much doubt a wimp like you has what it takes to beat me. I oh, really? You're not gonna back down? Looks like I'll have to teach you a lesson. Uh... I, I, I was wondering if I could just run away. I can just run away, that's hilarious. I'll go save. 
And we'll hope he hasn't pushed Kaylin off by the time I get back. Because that would be embarrassing. Amazing. Hi! Deal me! I'll finish you up first. Special rules. Start with 4,000 life points. That's probably fine. Like, a, a long game is slightly more in my favour just because of how long it takes to get my boss monster going. But it's probably fine. It depends on what kind of deck he's running. If he's running a burn deck, then that that's gonna suck. Oh, okay, only I start with 4,000 life points. I see. <laughs> right, of course. Okay, uh, what are we doing? We're dropping Silent Edition level 4. We're gonna set most of our things. We're gonna plot down swords so that he can't attack us, and then we're gonna card destruction, forcing him to draw cards, which gives us a spell point, a spell counter. Amazing! Oh, let's actually have a look at what's in this graveyard as well. Oh, he's running a six samurai deck! Uh. I don't know how I feel about this. Mostly because it's been a hell of a long time since I fought Six Samurai. But he, we've got one of his Shogun Sheens in the graveyard, which is good for us. Well, that's annoying. I don't think I can. Ah, oh, we have a trance right. How's it going? D, Z, and chat, are you going to activate my chat card? <laughs> Speaking as somebody who considers themselves sort of in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, does the Yu-Gi-Oh community only have one joke? Um... Oh, that's evil Knievel. I don't like that. Uh, no, we're not Call of the Haunted Thing just yet. We're gonna see what we draw. Gonna call up our silent magician. And we're gonna. So, this is a synchro summon. So, for those who, who, who are old school Yu Gi Oh! A uh, synchro summon, you have a monster that is a tuner. You see, Prime Answer is a tuner. And one monster or more monsters that are not tuners, like this. And when you have that combination and their level. It's equal to the level of a Synchro Monster, which is one of these shiny silver ones. You can do what's called a Synchro Summon. Uh, and a Synchro Summon is just you you use this guy and this guy's material, and you special summon a silver monster from your extra deck. Now I've got two level sixes. Neither of them is that great, which is a shame, because one of the best Synchro Monsters in the whole of in the whole game is a level 6 Synchro Monster, I just don't have access to it yet. Moon says, don't you also get to dramatically threaten to send people to the Shadow Realm? That's true, and actually I think I think memes around Exodia and also memes around the card Pot of Greed, we maybe have like four jokes. Uh, Transmites only has one easy joke because you've not played or watched any of it. Fair. I think I'm going to go for Iroquizers. It's a bit more of a risk. Because Guy is just a 2600 attack point beat stick. The requires is only 2100 attack, but he gets stronger and he does what's called piercing damage, which means that it's harder for him to defend against it. The only card game he plays magic, and that was around Macadian Masks. Well, I have no idea what Macadian Masks is, for one thing. I have some limited experience now with magic. Uh, <laughs> enough that I might loosely understand terms if people started talking about it, but I doubt I would follow. Um, okay, now you can have Xian's Castle of Mist for now. I don't think you have any things that key off of Xian's Castle of Mist? I could be wrong. And he trapped in the hell that makes this much more palatable for children than regular death. 
Uh, no, we're gonna... We're gonna let you have that for now. There might be more important things for me to... MST, and also... Like... I might just have you storm something instead. Okay. Right, so Urquizus, you're gonna run over this thing. So that's piercing damage, is when you get to do damage with a defense position monster. This is currently going fairly okay. We've still got one turn left of sword, which is nice. So he can't even attack us next turn, even if he pulls out some ultimate combo. Unfortunately, ultimate combos are one of the six samurai's things. <laughs> Okay, yes, I would like to blow up whatever that is. I would like you to no longer have that. Ooh, I'm very glad! I'm very glad I got rid of that! Haha! <laughs> Arcadia Masters are set from 1999! Oh my gosh! Haha! <laughs> ah, okay, we have Royal Magical Library. Royal Magical Library is an interesting bunny because, of course, it's got a great effect, but I don't think I'm going to get to use it this deal. So, let's just start running over things. Yeah, you down, another big chunk of damage, which is great. We'll set the library, just on the off chance. Honestly, I was expecting when the Six Samurai deck came up for it to be a, a much more interesting character than some random dude in the bike helmet. But I guess Six Samurai are kind of old by this point in the game. Okay. I think we have the win here. I strongly doubt there's anything he can do to stop us. <laughs> oh my god, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> it's okay, we're all out here. <laughs> And we get a nice chunk of monies. And also our friends don't die. You? I didn't expect you to be that good. Ah, well, you see, I I sneakily have the ability to reset the game as much as I want. Ooh, big pardon. Which means I can farm things for dual points and have moderately good cards based on whatever sets I've got unlocked. Ah! Gave them just enough time to get up off screen. No! <laughs> I think they probably would have been able to do that anyway while I was dueling him. Like, even if I'd lost, they would still be up. <laughs> uh, Kaylin, Dizzy, I'm really sorry about that. You say, what are you talking about? We're friends. Friends always help each other out. To top it off, we brought this area under our control. Finally, Satellite is united. Oh yeah, we're in a gang war? I think we've just won the gang war, possibly? Uh, <laughs> I'm in a gang with these two. And with my boyfriend slash husband, Crow. And some children, which may or may not be mine and Crow's children. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> Dizzy took down the final leader. Oh, did I? Great. I don't know when that happens. I don't know if that was that guy. Everyone contributed, that's how we're able to do it. For example, you contributed by making a dramatic cutscene happen. 
Sure is. I'll tell you, I've got the best friends in the whole world. Let's go meet up with Jack and Crow. After that, let's celebrate our victory. Oh, also, all of this that's happening right now is, like, in the past. We had a cutscene at the beginning that was set sometime after all of this that's happening currently. And the Enforcers were able to fulfill their dream of uniting all the satellites. Woo! A few days later... Save. Hey, now that we've conquered all the satellite, what's next? Why don't we have a little duel? Sure, why not? I'm assuming he's running a Stardust Dragon based deck? It's called Rallying Warriors, so it might be like a Synchron deck, I guess. Not a bad first draw. Not a bad first draw at all. Ooh, I nearly summoned you there. My fingers were a little bit quicker than the game was. <laughs> Maybe I should have plucked down the skill dart. Maybe I should have done that. That might have been clever. Is a synchron deck. That's fine. Uh, I take the effect of card. Well, what card would that be? Oh, pitch dark. Uh, no. Yoink. What have we got? Card destruction. I'm pretty not fussed about. All right, skilled duck. Out you come. Yes, there's another tuna boy. And we're going to use this to get out, like, the second best card in my whole deck, which is Ally of Justice Catasta, who is absolutely phenomenal because he destroys most things without, uh, without actually, like, needing to be better than them. Let's get that off the skill. I'm assuming you wanted that out for a reason, so let's just get rid of it. Alright, and we've got a little bit of backup juice in our hand in case we need it. Which is always good. Like if he does something like that. I don't think I have anything he's on that okay. Cry. Oh, not Quill Bolt. Ah, oh, Quill Bolt Hedgehog. Ah! Oh. Such a mean little thing. Uh, no, I'm not going to sack you that. I'm going to sack you whatever it turns into. Ow. Okay, Breaker's good. We like Breaker. So Breaker does two things. Uh, he gets a spell counter, and there's... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. His spell counter gives him attack, and then you can sacrifice that counter in the attack it gives him for destroying a spell or trap, which is pretty solid. And then with things like Pitch Black and Apprentice Magician, I can replenish his spell counter. What are you up to? Junk Synchron, okay. Oh. So yeah, he's going to use this to get back... S oh, Quillbot, apparently. Okay, not what I expected you to do. So that's basically just an instant synchro summon of this guy. 
When this card is synchro summoned, it gains attack equal to the total attack of all level 2 and lower monsters you control, which is currently none, which is nice. Uh, not that it matters because he's going to run straight into a trap card anyway. Junk Synchron back again, which is super annoying. <laughs> which means you can do this whole shebang again next turn. Uh, but we'll Saki this while it's here. It might well be worth me card destruction to get. Do this, plop you down. Uh, set nightmares. Activate card destruction. Okay, spell power blast, pretty good, pretty solid. That'll get us an extra bonus attack on our uh, Cerberus. So, so, so Spell Power Blast puts a spell counter on him, and then his effect puts a spell counter on him, and he gets 500 attack, so he's pretty strong right now. Uh, we are then going to Pitch Black. To give him another one. That's fine. Okay, so basically we can't run over that, which is a shame. <laughs> which means we're not going to attack the Cerberus, because if Cerberus attacks or is attacked, he loses all of his attack buffs. So we're just going to leave it there for now. Actually, this is pretty good, because I can blow up your face down with Breaker. And then... Oh, I'm glad I got rid of that. And then we can use Cryomancer to get up Aeroquizers. And Aeroquizers will do damage attacking this thing. I think that's quite a good combo. on Cerberus. So uh, whenever he summons something good, we've got this 2900 beat stick like in reserve. Oh, he's got another shield wing! <laughs> That's fine. We're doing damage, we're getting some more attack on the Requisers. We're currently in a fairly good spot. I would like to have better face down cards, but we're in a fairly good spot. Run one. We'll see what it is. It's fine, whatever it is, we're getting. It's got a walk on its head, so we'll just kill it. 
<laughs> I'll hold library boy takes down. Oh, I should have used pitch black. I'm a fool. I'm a great fool. Game is thinking. What are you thinking about? Okay. That's that draw. Same again. I know whatever the new thing is. Because we know the shield wings can't really hurt us. So we'll just keep attacking whatever the new things are. In case they can hurt us. I once again forgot to use pitch black. That's fine. Leaving it face up with one spell counter on it might kind of be a good strategy almost, because the AI is much more likely to target a face up spell or trap than a face down one for some reason. Even if it's something that's objectively not that great, like pitch black. And if we happen to draw a bunch of spells we can use, maybe we'll get a, a draw out of. Oh, magical. Oh, especially if we get this guy. T. That was a good, good idea to leave Pitch Black up after all. Right, I don't think we have quite enough attack. No, we don't have quite enough attack to win this turn, which is a shame. But we should win next turn. So long as we keep our advisors. Got clever tricks waiting in the wings in case we need clever tricks. mean, for example. That could be a reason why we might need a, a clever trick. Well, Silent Magician. Uh, I'm not going to summon it just yet, because I won't be able to help this time. So, we're just going to see if we can win. Step one, see if can win. Oh, crap. Iron Scarecrow! Ah! What do I have? Oh, no. I didn't want to use that, though. I did not want to use that. Ah, what a mean card! Okay, that's fine. We'll plop out Silent Magician for now. Um... Uh, we don't have great things. We don't have a, an answer to Scrap Iron. Unfortunately, what we want is Breaker, and Breaker's in our graveyard. <laughs> okay. He's really thinking now. Fighting Spirit. Sure. Oh, that's just one more thing keeping his shield wings alive. Okay. Well, actually, that's a reasonable amount of attack. Okay, he is going to use it. That's very stupid of him, but okay. <laughs> oh, he's going to suicide into that guy. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I can't stop him. 
I'm doing that. That's annoying, but it's okay. I think he's scuppered himself more by doing that than if he hadn't done that. Because I think we can just attack that thing. We run into one scrap iron. Or we can lightning vortex if we need to, I guess. How much I, uh, feed does he have? He has 1100. Uh... Either of these win if I attack them. To our knowledge, he only has one scrap up, so we're just gonna go for it. Gonna run into a scrap iron, that's fine. Again, the same turn. His thing doesn't get destroyed, but that's fine because we're still doing an ungodly amount of damage. Heck yeah! Correct, you say. Whew! And yeah, the max attack bonus is insane because we have a 4400 attack point monster on the field. Got really good. Here, give this card a go in the next duel. Alright, what's he giving me? Quillbolt! Oh, Quillbolt is great. I don't know if I'm going to use it in this deck, but Quillbolt is great. Realized I should treat every single duel as though it were my last! Oh my god, that's a bit morbid! <laughs> Being saved, okay. Hi, Jack. Is this it? Should we really be satisfied? Dueling is our heart and soul. Okay, you also want a duel. Every single duel is a bridge to the future. That's probably really deep. Uh... <laughs> I need a dragon thing. Okay. Interesting. A relatively small extra deck, which is always a good thing for me. Keep that skill dark. Leave that. I don't think I'm going to set anything else for now. Ice Dragon. Okay. Sure. Magnadrago. Okay, so we've got a level 7 thingy coming out. What is it? Exploder Dragon Wing. 2400 attack. If it battles a monster, his attack is equal to or less than the attack of this card. You can destroy the monster immediately without applying damage calculation. Ooh! Okay. That's a little mean. I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan. Ow. I mean, it's, I can't fault the name of the card. It definitely is a dragon, and it definitely be exploding. <laughs> uh, no. Are we gonna call? No, we're not gonna call just yet. We're gonna see what we got first. Silent magician. Is this original attack? No, it's current attack. Okay. Sure, I will call the Haunted back Skilled Dark with the thoughts to... So Skilled Dark is a little bit like a level guy, he gets spell counters for spell count cards being activated instead of the drawing cards, and he turns into a regular Dark Magician, which isn't that great, but like, has its uses. Now we're gonna put down Nightmare Steel Cage, so no attacky attacky. 
hope they give us time to get Silent Magician off to a, a decent attack point value. Oh, that's a fantastic card. That's an amazing card to draw. Uh, oh god, the Moisturize Redeem. Oh no. Okay, alright. Well, everything's going to take a two minute pause while I put goop on the hands. <laughs> Thank you so much, John's right, for that. Oh dear. Um, I'm glad you're having fun with this. That's what it's for. I'm, I also hope I'm appropriately selling just just how lightly unpleasant the tacky sensation of having this on my hands is. <laughs> I hope I'm not overselling it, but uh, I hope I, I'm, I'm not underselling it either. Okay, look. Hands are good. Let's towel off the surface stuff. So I can actually touch things. I may have just whacked my microphone with a towel, you never know. Alright, what, what are we getting up to? Just says, I'm gonna have to find the worst possible timing to put goop on your hands each stream. <laughs> oh no. Okay, so the question is Am I popping this guy's spell counter on skilled dark or on silent? <laughs> you sound so distressed every time it's redeemed. I think I've put it on a once per stream cooldown, right? So, like, that should give you an indicator of, of how I feel about it. Um... I think we're gonna put it on skilled dark. With the thoughts to getting skilled dark off the field sooner rather than later. So that we can heavy storm. But so long as Nightmare Steel Cage runs its full course, um, as long as as Nightmare Steel Cage runs its full course, Silent Magician should be strong enough by the time he can attack again. And Magical Dimension is a great card because it lets me get something out from my hand. In this case, not something amazing, but something. Uh, get, let's we get rid of my weak monster and kill one of his monsters. Okay, we're up to 2,000 attack. Okie doke. Alright, Nightmare Steel Cage is gone. Power Grasp. Phenomenal. I actually couldn't have asked for anything better, I don't think. Um, what are we going to do? Okay, I'm going to Magical Dimension. Because I'm about to Heavy Storm anyway, because I don't like his trap. So I'm going to Magical Dimension. We are going to Tribute Apprentice. Okay, Dark Bride. Fair enough. That's fine. Defender, I'm not that fussed about. So you still need one more counter. Okay, so we're gonna spell Power Grasp. We're gonna... With spell Power Grasp, we're gonna put one on Silent Magician. And then that will also get us one on Skilled Dark. The Skilled Dark's effect. Fantastic. Skilled Dark. You're now gonna turn yourself into regular Dark. Using the hydrate, thank you. <laughs> Boys from within and without. Oh gosh. Uh, and yeah, uh, skilled dark magician gets a little special cutscene because sorry, regular dark magician gets a little cutscene because it's like a an important card. Okay, 
so this should be fine. We've now got two 2500 attack monsters. We actually also haven't used our, our normal summon this turn, which is quite funny. Throw on Heavy Storm, kill our Call of the Haunted, which we don't need anymore, and whatever the hell that was. But only doing damage calculation. When the attack of your battling monster is lower than the attack of your opponent's. Play life points equal to the difference, your monster gains attack equal to that difference, plus 300! Ooh! I'm very glad I got rid of that! Uh, let's throw out Defender. Mm, help keep some of our stuff alive. So Defender gets a spell counter on him, and then you can remove a spell counter from anywhere on the field to stop uh, spellcasters from being destroyed, basically. Okay. Oh, no, not you. Dark Magician, please. Get rid of this thing. Oh yeah, we did some damage. Uh, Silent Magician, run over whatever that is. That's really annoying. <laughs> uh, can I kill it with this? I actually can kill it with this. That's hilarious. All right, apprentice magician, do your tiny little dark evil thunderbolt thing, and then defender. You just eat him. Oh no! What's this? I hate hand traps. When your opponent's monster declares a direct attack. Press on this card from your hand and end the battle phase. So let's press some of this effect. I won't complain to make me feel it. Oh, you little swine. On the plus side, it is a zero zero. Still. Yeah, so that hand traps are, in my opinion, kind of a curse and a stain on you. Yeah, I really don't like them. Uh Hand traps are monsters that activate from your hand like trap cards. Oh, who is that? Yes, we're gonna save them, whoever it is, but I don't know who it is. I think it might actually be Defender, hilariously. No, it would have been Dark Magician. Okay, fair enough. Alright, what do you got for me? Strong Wind Dragon. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. He's not got the bonus attack, and he has piercing. Okay, that's fine. Strong Wind Dragon is fine. It's gonna hurt, but it's fine. Ow. I told you it was gonna hurt. That's why I wanted him off the field with, uh. With what's it called? I can't remember what it is called. We do get Mandragora face down, which is nice. We've now got the oh my god, you're losing so bad music. <laughs> which is quite fun because I think we're probably going to win. Get you out. How much you got? You got 2400, that's fine. Kill you with dark. Another 100 points of damage! And then 3,000 points of damage, but still. The best thing is when you can go from the you're losing so badly music to the you're winning so well music in one turn. We're not quite going to get there, I don't think. No, we didn't quite get there. He only has two cards. He only has two cards to, to, to get rid of our fields. So I'm fairly comfortable at the moment resting on my laurels. We got Lightning Vortex, amazing. Yes, we're going to level up some Mo Magician. We can't currently use Lightning Vortex, which is a little bit of a shame. There she is, Silent Magician level 8. Uh, I don't... Uh, do 
want that. Actually, I think I do. I'd rather have the spell counters on Defender now than risk whatever whatever could be that face down. Uh, pay another card. Unless he has another battle favor. Everyone cross your fingers that he doesn't have another battle favor. Okay, he doesn't have another battle favor. Oh, I really like this deck. It helps that I like Silent Magician as a card. I don't know if I call it one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh cards necessarily, but it's a it's a card I feel very strongly positive about. Um So I, I'm I'm very happy with this deck. Keep aiming high, you can't go wrong. Taking a new step forward is proof. You adjusted your sleeve? Oh no, okay, you gave me oh, DD Capsule. DD Capsule's quite good. I don't know if DD Capsule will be making it into my deck. It's a map showing who controls stuff like stuff. Sure. How many DD points? Uh, X. Which one's X? That one's X. A new pack has been added to the shop. A new wardrobe has been added. Oh my gosh, we got so much. Where, where are my clothing? Change image? Ah, okay, yeah, so I can, I can choose. So we got... These are the worn out clothes that we picked up. I'm not sure they look worn out, but I'm definitely not going to be wearing them. Then we've got just like not wearing very much, and then this is our uniform. And obviously you can, you can choose colour. And then we have two types of dual disc. I'm going for the nicer one. And then hair, which I'm not changing. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Can I get to the shop from here? I guess not. Unless it's in Dealist menu. No, okay, that's fine. As I do want to go to the shop, so let's actually uh having just done this, I'm gonna gonna go back to the menu. I'm gonna return to mode selection. Oh. World Championship. New pack has been added, new wardrobe's been added. Yes, we know that. Shop. So this is where we get new cards, I think. I'm pretty sure that, like, the, the, the cards are shared between both modes. It's been a long time since I played. What have we got? So we have a, a structure deck. Ooh, we have the zombie world structure deck. That's a really good deck. That's a very strong deck. And we've got some new packs. World Championship Edition 1. Justice Strikes Back. Oh, and Strike of Neos. Oh, now I... I, I'm I, I quite like the elemental heroes just in general, but I really really love Enios specifically. Enios is probably my single favorite E hero. Um, and then these are saying new, but we've had them for a while, so they're actually not new. Uh, I don't know what's in all these. I don't even know if it, uh, if I was able to find out what was in all these previously. Uh... No, I don't have any saved tabs with with Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So let me see. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Championship. Right, so what have we unlocked? We've unlocked World Championship Edition 1. It 
which has blue eyes shining and red eyes darkness metal. Red eyes darkness metal is a pretty fantastic card. Um, because it's like you sacrifice one dragon and it's a 2800 monster and it lets you special summon one dragon from your hand or graveyard every turn, which is amazing. Blue eyes shining is fairly mediocre. Uh, what else is in this pack? E Hero Electrum. Um. Silent Swordsman level 7, which I'm about fussed by. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in there that is particularly exciting. There's not many things that I'm sort of specifically looking for right now in terms of this deck. Like, it, if, if I'm looking for new cards, it would mostly be for a new deck. What's the next one? Justice Strikes Back. This isn't new. This is one that's unlocked from the start. <laughs> I don't know why it's saying new. <laughs> Maybe we've just never bought any of them, I guess? Uh... Yeah, I don't think this has anything in it that particularly excites me either. That's fine. Maybe that's why we've never bought anything from it. Strike of Neos. Strike of Neos is interesting. Where is it? Strike. Oh, 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 what did I do? Let's type in and I did something. What did I do? I have did I just buy the thing? I wasn't even supposed to be tabbed into the game. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Hang on. Oh, that's so annoying if I just bought that and didn't look through all the cards I got from it. Uh... Set. I did! I just bought it and I didn't look at all the cards in it! Oh no! Disaster! Um... Right, we are saving this. This is the most upstate version of that, but this is fine. Read recipe sample recipes. Not this. Uh, zombie world. Okay, let's have a look at this. See what's in it. Okay, so what do we got? We got Bloodsucker. Is 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 a, a sort of a light mill card, which is pretty mediocre because this is not a mill deck. There's Lakota is not worth the hassle really much. Gurnia, if this was because destroyed, blah blah blah, supposed to be doing Sandra phase. That's fairly okay, but again not great. Goku N. Um You can sell it without tributing, and it stays up basically if it's if you have other zombies. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, Marionette Might. That's great in conjunction with the Zombie World Field spell, because that makes your opponent's monsters all zombies. That's why we've got two of them, I guess. Paladin of Cursed Dragon. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, and so he also works with Zombie World. Because Zombie World turns your Prince Graveyard into zombies as well. Fish of Darkness is not that great. Pyramid Turtle is a key card for this kind of a deck. Gets out your good zombies. Reborn Zombie is not good. <laughs> Red Eye Zombie Dragon is amazing. Uh, so it only takes one zombie monster to, to get out. Uh, and then. When you destroy an opponent's zombie monster, which again is all of them if you've got your field spell out, uh, you get that monster, which is amazing. Uh, 
this is terrible, honestly. <laughs> this is Red Eye Zombie Dragon, if it had no ability to destroy anything ever. Regenerating Mummy is not that great, but it's got some nice attack. Ryukoki is a nice little just sort of 2400 one trippy beat stick. Vampire's Curse? Uh, oh, it just comes back for some life points. That's fine. Zombie Master is also an amazing card because uh, it just gets out zombies from your graveyard really easily and has solid attack as well. Uh, Book of Life is a staple zombie card. Call the Mummy a staple zombie card. Card Destruction, nice to load up your graveyard to get zombies out of. Card of Safe Return, hilariously banned, even though we've just got it. Which means we can't actually use this deck. <laughs> uh, but it is a horrendously strong card. Cold Wave, limited, also very strong. Creature Swap, I'm not fussed by. DD Capsule, also not fussed by. Field Barrier, great for keeping Zombie World alive. But I would be... Running, running triple zombie world if I had the ability to do so. And terraforming, we don't have, have that either. Magical Stone Excavation is thoroughly mediocre, but nice for getting back zombie world. Uh, and also loading the graveyard. Overpowering Eye, that's meh. Pot of Avarice is fine. Soul Taker. I'm not that fussed by. Spell Shattering Arrow? I guess, sure. Uh, and Zombie World. All monsters on the field in any graveyard become zombie type monsters, and neither player contributes some non zombie type monsters. So just, it's great. It's wonderful. I didn't even know it had the second effect, and I still knew it was wonderful. <laughs> Bottomless is fun. I don't know why Dark Mirror Force instead of regular Mirror Force, but that's fine. Imperial Lion Wall is great for a zombie deck. Uh, I probably will, still wouldn't include it, but it's good. Don't know about that. That seems bad. Like, we have to tribute monsters to get our, some of our best monsters out. That's meh. Um, Tutan Mask. It's mediocre as well, and Wabble. So yeah, Zombie Worlds, great deck. Uh, so let's go back to our let's go back to our spellcaster deck. Is there anything in here that we haven't seen? Uh, I think the only things we haven't seen are Mist Valley, who's mostly just here to be a nice tuner you know, with some good attack, who's also a little bit annoying. And then that's the wrong button again. And then some of our synchros, like Colossal Fighter, is really good because he keeps coming back when he gets killed. Um, and yeah, Gaia Knight is just a, a 2600 beat stick. Mistworm I never ever ever get to play, but it's fun. And X Saber is here because I wanted a seven, a level 7 Synchro Monster and he's literally the only one I had. <laughs> there we go. That's the deck. Right, let's go back to the shop, because we've got loads more things. I want to I wanna buy Strike of Neos. What's in Strike of Neos? Ooh, Horus, level 8! That's nice. Uh, this is weird that he's not in this one with Horus level 6 on the front, but sure. Uh, what's the one? Is it this one to buy all of them? Yeah, okay, we've got plenty of cash, so I'm just going to buy all 50 that are available easily. Uh, but yeah, also in this, Enios, Grand Neos, Glow Neos, Lernios, Rainbow of Dark World. I do like Dark World as a theme. It's not very good, but I like it. <laughs> um, Gene Walt Warwolf is in this, who's a fun beat stick. Moly is in this. Oh, Grand Mole is one of the most broken cards <laughs> in this era of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, X. There we go. Okay. Ding. I'm not gonna. Am I gonna make you watch them all slow? I might not make you watch them all slow. Uh, alien support. 
ritual monster. Oh, there's six samurai in here as well. So the six samurai are one of the earliest, like, proper combo decks. Basically, if you have some six samurai, it's easier to get out more six samurai very quickly. You can just special summon them from your hand with no cost. And then they have abilities that are the key on you key on you having another six samurai. So the fact that you can get them out really quick is really good. Oh, I just pushed the button to get all of them, because I was trying to scroll to the next page of this guy's effect, and I couldn't because he doesn't have one. That's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, so more six samurai stuff. Eliminating the leak. Ooh. Okay, that's fine. I, that's not a card I'd ever use. Cayman. Uh, he destroys face-up spell and traps. Turn after the first time six semi monster control battles or six semi monster control game 300 attack. That's not that great. Uh, Yeriza. Uh, he attacks directly, which is okay, but he's got terrible attack. Uh, you're a Dark World. Dark World's thing is that they want to get uh, discarded from your hand by a card effect. So, not like as a cost for like Magic Jammer. But as an effect, which is almost nothing, almost nothing actually does that. Is why Dark World's not good. The effects are good, but activating them is so annoyingly painful that Dark World is not good. Uh, Shien's cast a mist. Sure, Yaichi. Uh, he destroys face down spell and traps. Glonios. What does he actually do? Um, you destroy one face up card your opponent controls and then apply an effect. Fair. Uh, um, alien cards. Zanji is like the good good six samurai. Uh, cause he, he just blows up anything he attacks. Hero metal is not that great. Molly! Oh my god, they've got Molly. So yeah, if it if it attacks or is attacked, you can return this and the other monster to your opponent's to their owner's hand at the start of the damage step without actually doing damage calculation. Which basically means it can't be it effectively means it can't be destroyed by battle. Because if your opponent attacks it, then their card goes back to their hand. And you can if quite effectively mole lock someone by just like they summon something, they attack Mole, they go back to their hand, and then on your turn you summon Mole again. <laughs> and you're right back where you started. Uh, so yeah, an evil, evil, evil little card. Misashi gets two attacks, which is interesting. Uh... What's this? Transmigration Prophecy. Nah. Parky is... Uh, quite nice for a for a um, dark welder. Blomos is fine. Uh, then there's so the six samurai also have all these Shien type cards, uh, which are support cards. Shogun Shien is great. He's like the boss six samurai. And yeah, you say if you control two six samurai monsters, you just special summon him for free, which is pretty good. Um. So we've got anything interesting. Oh, Iru uh, pops face down monsters, which is quite nice. Spiral Serpent is just a big old beat stick. Skyscraper 2, sure. Um, Ancient Rules is a fun card to have if you want to play a beat down deck. Oh, I shouldn't say a beat down deck, I should say a. We've got another mole. I think it might be limited in this format, so one mole might not help. But uh, we've got another one in case. Uh, I don't mean beat down. I mean skill drain deck. Uh, pulling the rug. Now, one of the things this this game unfortunately doesn't have, but a lot of other later virtual card games have, is oh, Frostosaurus. We like Frostosaurus. Is that it doesn't have like drawing without replacement, 
which means that you can get many, many, many duplicates of some cards. Like, I think this is already our fourth gram, possibly. If not, this is our fourth gram. <laughs> Birthright's fun. DD Crow is kind of nice to have. Less good in this format, because there's not many things that activate in the graveyard so much. But, uh... Very good if your print has monster effects that activate in the graveyards. Another mole. We've got a lot of cards, I'm glad I'm not going through them. Uh, Air Hummingbirds! Air Hummingbirds doesn't do very much on its own, but is necessary for Air Neos. So we're happy to have a Hummingbird. Oh my god, we've got Air Neos, amazing. So Air Neos's deal is... Uh, it, it's got all the normal Neos fusion things. And then, while your life points are lower than your opponent's, this card gains attack equal to the difference. So the, the way an Enios deck works is it's an OTK deck. You massively hammer your own life points as costs for powerful spells. So you use things like Solemn Judgment, Premature Burial, anything you can think of that, that really knackers your own life points. Which gives Enios huge amounts of attack. Um, and then you attack just like one random whatever your opponent has for game, is the idea. Gene Watt, so he's a 4 star with 2000 attack, that's the, the only draw of Gene Watt. Again, good for skill drain decks. Two Gene Watts, nice. Uh, is there a third mole? That's nice. Is there anything else exciting? Now, obviously, ideally, we would like to have three Air Hummingbirds and three Air Neoses. That is unlikely to happen anytime soon. Ah, here's Rainbow. So he's the big Dark World person. It's the card, it's the card from the hand to the game by an opponent's card effect, special summon this card. So imagine how hard that is, like, when did your opponent mi make something discard from your hand? Almost never, unless they're running a specific deck around it. It's just such a shame. They're, uh, they're a bit of a wasted opportunity. <laughs> oh, we've got a second Hummingbird. Ancient Rules. So Ancient Rules is also good in a Neos deck, because Neos is a level 5 or higher normal. Stuff. Uh, I think. What is Change of Hero? Oh, that's not that good. Ah, Neos Force. A component to A Hero Neos against 800 attack. Uh, inflict damage. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's not that good either, to be honest. Rainbow sounds like a queer superhero slash villain. I'm assuming the Dark Worlders are villains because they're from Dark World. But also, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Lots of the dark things are like the good guys, so who knows? Maybe he is a queer superhero, and if not, he probably is a queer villain. <laughs> okay, how much of this? We now have 95% of this pack collected. Uh, shall we just see if we've got money to spend? I don't know which, what my shoulder buttons are bound to. There we go. I did know what my shoulder buttons were bound to. Let's have a look at this. See what we can get from old Cyberdark Impact. Mystical Wind Typhoon? This probably isn't having the effect that the opening packs is supposed to have. Uh, what does this do? That's why only it's chain link three or higher. Oh god, I hate cards like that. Barrier Statue of the Torrent. Oh, the Barrier Statue's got some real controversy in Yu-Gi-Oh recently, because they're, they are super restrictive. Uh, as you can see. So they, they, they shut down a lot of opponent's decks quite easily. Cyber Ogre 2, meh. Lots more alien cards. They mostly revolve around taking control of your opponent's monsters, I think. Oh, this guy does stuff with moving to different monster card zones. Um... Oh yeah, so Instant Fusion is another great one. Like, for the Enios deck, because it's Pay a thousand life points, get a fusion monster. 
I don't remember if it works for Aeneos, but even so, it's a good way to burn some life points and get out a really strong monster. Uh, more barrier statues. Okay, so there's lots of these chain cards that work on how many stuff, how much stuff is in the chain. Some cyber darks, because this is the cyber dark pack. You sort of hope that you had cyber darks. Black Horn of Heaven is is a nice card that just stops a special summon. I might use Black Horn of Heaven actually. Uh, level down is a weird card that like basically sort of saves a level monster in the same way that Defusion sort of saves a fusion monster. Well, here's Cyberduck Dragon itself, which is honestly a very disappointing card. The, the point of a Cyberduck deck is you have these little guys that use dragons from your graveyard to power up, and then he is like just the, the lord of all of those, because um, he also gets bonus stuff for everything in the graveyard. Is there anything else interesting that you're likely to see in all of these cards? More barrier statues. Great if you're ever running a mono attribute deck. Barrier statues are fantastic. The only problem is they don't last very long because they're not very strong. Um, burp, 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 burp. Allure Queen. Once per turn. So it's level 3 or level monster equipped side of the field. Equip it to this card. It would be destroyed by a battle. The equipment monster is destroyed instead. During a standby phase, by sending this card to the graveyard. Special like look me level 5. Oh, monsters that, that equip enemy monsters to themselves are really neat. Because it's a great way of killing an enemy monster without actually destroying it. I don't even know if it targets actually. So yeah, this will get rid of a level 5 or lower monster. Um, and then Lur Queen level 7, I'm guessing, gets you a level 7 monster. I don't know if a Lur Queen level 7 will be in this pack. Oh! A Lur Queen level 7, there we go. And yeah, oh, she just gets any one monster on your opponent's side of the field. So yeah. Very strong, apart from the fact that they've got, like, no stats, and they take ages to get out. <laughs> Because, like, um, Silent Magician takes ages to get out, but its stats go up while you're doing it, and it gets to 2,000 attack relatively quickly. Do, do, do. Anything interesting at all? Oh, that's kind of good, actually. Your opponent cannot special summon monsters. On a 2,500 attack by monster. Like, it can't be special summoned itself, which is annoying, but, like, that's good. Lots and lots of duplicates. Another Cyberduck Dragon, which is nice. Okay, we're nearly at the end. I'm just flicking through to see if there's anything that catches my eye. What's that? Yeah, that's not good. Might be better in the modern format. Uh, still not great. Got so many snipe hunters. Oh, I keep going one too far as well. We, we now have seen all of the cards in, available in this set, so... <laughs> there we are. I think we've now bought at least something from everyone except this. I'm not, we might not have bought any of those. Let's buy a whole bunch of these. And this will be the end of our card buying for now. Uh, 
Okay, what do we got? Pluto Summoning Dragon. Not that useful anymore, but was once a really strong card. Abyss Soldier, that's pretty solid for a water deck. Dang. I think this is mostly older cards, which is why you've got stuff like Pump King and Flute of Summoning Dragon and Dark Energy in it. Uh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic, you need a very high tribute, a very high cost for it. As long as this card remains face up on the field, you can get an activation of trap cards. Ah, interesting. <laughs> it says even I recognize some of these. Victory Dragon, I'm pretty sure is, is a banned card. Because uh, in competitive, where you where you play match formats, this thing means that you win a match for winning the game. Uh, if you if you win the game with Victory Dragon, but the thing about that is is that your opponent can just forfeit immediately before you attack with Victory Dragon, and then they only lose the game and not the match, which is really annoying. But, like it's a bit of a pointless card due to that oversight. Um, it says that Fiend King something or other. Let's just Whittle Baby with an egg. Fiend King? Where's Fiend King? Have we seen Fiend King? Or is that somewhere further down? I missed it. Okay. okay, we haven't seen Fiend King yet. He might well be here, I don't know. So we've got Prevent Rats. Gonna love Prevent Rats. Cyberman? Actually. Fairly solid in a Blue Eyes deck, even to this day. So yeah, some of these were the very... Maybe you misread? Ah, oh, that's fine. The... I, I know the Fiend King person you're talking about, um, and he might well be in here. But yeah, some of these are among the very first cards that I ever played you gear with. Realize Black Dragon, one of the most disappointing cards in all of you, all of Duel Monsters. <laughs> But yeah, the, the reason for getting the old cards is because I'm guessing these are the sets that are most likely to have interesting staple spells in. Also randomly Necroshade. Also randomly Darkness Metal Dragon. <coughs> I don't know why. It's a great card. I don't know why it's in here with all of these. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Beast King of the Swamp. It's nice to have for a, a fusion type deck. But weirdly, a lot of fusion, like contact fusion, doesn't count as fusion, I think, a lot of the time for a lot of effects, which is really strange and stupid. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Just, just flicking through. Okay, so here's Blue Eyes Shining, who was the main main character of that one Yu-Gi-Oh movie they did. Uh, I don't even know if it does anything that good in this, because <laughs> in the in that in that movie it was a hard counter to the Pyramid of Light trap card, but I don't think it does that has that effect in this. Deal for the Lightning is is fun enough, but a little bit outclassed by modern cards. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my god, it's the same card over and over and over again. Oh, Silent Swordsman, what do you do? As long as this card remains face up. On your side of the field, they get the effects of all spell cards on the field. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. There weren't any interesting cards in there anyway. Is there anything else that we don't have a lot of? We don't have a lot of Rise of Destiny. We don't have a lot of. Dark Revelation 2. We don't have a lot of Dark Beginning. 
I did say we were going to end our card collecting journey there, because honestly, it's, it's actually not that interesting. Has a new card been added to the list? I don't think it has. I think you're lying to me. No, it has not. You rude, rude game. Okay. Are we going to put anything from that in our deck? I might put Black Horn of Heaven in our deck. I'll see if there's a space for it. Nightmare Wheel maybe could get taken out. That's kind of the only thing I'd really want to drop from what we got, what we have. Hmm. Okay, let's ditch. Uh, I don't know. Nightmare Wheel has, has its uses, because not every big opponent's monster is a special summon. But most of them are. Okay, we're gonna ditch. We're gonna ditch Nightmare Wheel. We're gonna grab Black Horn of Heaven. Uh oh, we're gonna we're gonna filter things first, hang on. Counter traps. Black Horn of Heaven. I'm gonna put one of you in there. We have, we have six of them total from all of that. All right. Let's see how that goes. And then we have more story to do, probably. Nope, story mode. Oh, I need a drink as well. Hang on. Ah, oh, right, sorry, okie doke. I have no idea where we're going next, no idea what the rest of the story is. I never watched, like, the 5Ds anime at all, so I really, really don't know where this is going. Um, this is our base, I guess. No, this is where I just came from, hang on. Okay, I guess we're just leaving? So there's a lot of junk around. Who who would have guessed in this old ruined building? I don't think there's any people around. Oh, hello, there's a people. This is my boyfriend. Hi Crow! Kaylin, especially, seems out of it. Maybe everyone's just burnt out a bit. I mean we did just like win a gang war. Is he about to push this child off of the off of the cliff? Is that all you got? You're not match for me at all. You don't have any right to call yourself a duelist. Caitlin, this child is like five years old! Sending people to the shadow realm, you should have been sent into the broom closet. <laughs> Crying won't make anything better now. Come on, it's your turn! Oh my god! Kaylin! <laughs> Kaylin! Buddy! Maybe... Maybe calm it down a little. Get out of my way. Oh, okay. We can't go near him? Can we go near the child? Oh, okay. You can't leave Kaylin like this. You'd probably get some of your friends for support. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you say so, game. I was just gonna let him push this child off of a cliff, to be honest with you. Oh, hi guys! We need to do an intervention. Why so jittery? It's not like something big's going down outside, I wonder what happened. <laughs> I don't think he's one of the good guys. <laughs> well, I don't know! I know that, um... Jack ends up being one of the bad guys. But also, like, we are in a gang with Yusei, who's the main character. What? Really? Kaylin? We gotta go stop him! <laughs> you losers need to quit hanging out in front of our hideout. Oh god, he is actually going to push this child off of a cliff. 
We're gonna deal deal with all you've got. Hey, Lynn, stop! I know I say that children bounce, but it's really a joke. They don't actually bounce that well. Oh yeah, that's my boyfriend. What do you think you're doing, Crow? I think I'll ask you the same thing. We need help the weaklings. If anyone's not rolling with us, they're our enemies. Killing! Of course we're going to conquer all the satellite. I thought we already did! I think we have to start hurting little kids like that. Yeah! <laughs> Don't need any wannabe duelists, no matter how old they are. Who says my boyfriend looks like a negative brush? <laughs> to be fair, he's not my boyfriend by choice. <laughs> we we just started the game, and I I say he's my boyfriend. We sleep in the same bed, and we have two children. Like, it hasn't explicitly said that that, that I'm his boyfriend, but <clears throat> thought children is about the ability to on whatever you want, no matter who you are. What gives you that the right to take them away from any of us? What? <laughs> I'm through with this team. I feel like maybe we should be kicking Kaylin off the team instead of Crow leaving the team. Just putting that out there. I feel like you should have a choice in the matter of boyfriends as Ah, the narrative must, you know? Thought we were a team, Crow. You're just gonna turn your back on your friends? Hi! Oh, Jack's gone too. You say we're a team, right? We're friends, right? Come on, say something. Dizzy. Hello? <clears throat> oh, bye. The next day. Hello, youngling. Chris seems to be pretty down in the dumps. I wonder if he got in a fight. Sort of. Oh. Graham, you've uh, you've uh, you've been caught out by the, the link link catching bot. Uh but also hi there, Graham. How's it going? <laughs> this is the week to start our own team with blackjack and hookers. <clears throat> I mean I theoretically know how to play back blackjack, but I'm not very good at it. So yeah, this is I think this is this is our bed that we sleep in with Crow. Um Where is he? Oh actually I can check information. I assume I have beaten this child. It's okay. Oh there you are. Hi Crow. Dizzy. I don't think I told you this yet. So about the man who once tried to liberate Saturn. Oh, we got a sepia filter. <laughs> Thank you, Boom Boom, for letting me know about that. Oh my gosh. Oh dear. A long time ago, that guy came riding into town on a very strange looking girl runner. He would come to this exact spot to just stare into the distance. Every single day without fail. One day he stopped coming. <laughs> What a story! This guy used to come in and stand here, and then he stopped. And you had to build a bridge to connect satellite with the city. Daedalus Bridge. Everybody said it couldn't be done. He needs planning permission. But he never gave up. Or got planning permission. Most people who made fun of him at first gravity started thinking maybe he would finish it. But the residents, who merely recycled the trash coming from the city each day, those people with no bright future, the bridge became their symbol of hope. Unfortunately, some folks showed up and didn't like the idea of this new bridge being built. They were from the council! Securities. Construction was stopped, the person who started it all hit the top of securities most wanted. Everybody gave up on the idea, said it was doomed from the start, they figured he'd get arrested. Eventually, they did catch up to him. He had two options. Turn himself in and spend his life in the cell. Or he could turn himself into a living legend. 
just become a legend. Okay. I don't think he's a, a living legend. I, I think he's a very dead legend. The legend not bound by common sense. Nobody knows what happened to him after that. I have so much respect for him and what he tried to do. He's basically the reason I started dueling in the first place. But now... Oh, this is one of our children, by the way. Crow, a oh crow, thank goodness you're here. What's up? Something real bad. Kane is fighting against securities all by himself. He probably bounces, boo boo. The building that used to be the hideout for Team Black and Blue. I don't know which one that is! Yes, get everyone together, let's go help Kaelin. We'll go look for Jack, you go find Yusei. He should be in the hideout. When you find him, meet back up at the hideout. I'm sure I've beaten my child, right? Yes. We're gonna save so we don't have to do the dialogue again. Also, oh, why Streamland Shadow the Grey? It's very mean. Oh no. He just doesn't like Linkies. And that's only because I told him not to like Linkies, to be fair. It's not really Streamlabs' fault. Uh, hello, child. Hello, strange blue f blue hair person. Starship? Did you bring me some starships? Yes! What do you want in exchange? Ah, okay, right. We can exchange starships for different artwork. Oh, or for new clothing, like this. Race Queen, oh wow. Can't buy the question mark ones. Dual discs, Academy discs, which are quite nice looking to be fair. Oh, interesting. I don't think I want any of these just yet. Creepy <laughs> race queen costume that shows off the stomach. I think it shows off a little bit more than just the stomach. Shooting the shout at me or discounting you. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> you can find starships just laying around sometimes, or maybe even in the World Championship. Sure. Thanks, Lassie. Where are we going? Not this way, apparently. I'm assuming the hideout is left? <clears> oh, <throat> my voice is really dying here. Ah, a hideout. The child isn't here. Hi! What's wrong? You look a little flustered. Yeah, that always happens when I'm speaking with Crow. Oh, Boom has redeemed the hydrate. I do not have very much liquid left. I've, I've almost drunk all of it because of my voice. Oh no! <laughs> no, I, I'm going to agree with Graham and say let's not all shout at Graham. I definitely can't shout at Graham with my voice. <laughs> Shaka, my voice is going to need to hydrate, but I, I've hydrated so much that my hydrate is going. <laughs> oh dear, poor Graham. All right, what's going on? I thought he just went out for a walk. Yeah, he went for a walk to go beat up the police. What do you do on your walks? Can't enough without saying anything a little while ago. I had no idea he was thinking about doing something like this. To be fair, maybe the, the police are beating up him. We don't know. Only, all the abandoned buildings used to be Team Black and Blue's hideout. Oh, thank goodness. It's going to take me there. I don't have the finds by the way there. <laughs> I'm going to spin up here. I'll check the basement. You two head that way. There's three of us. The head upstairs from this way. If he hasn't been caught, he might still be on the top. Just make sure no security spot you, they'll kick us out of here in no time. Okay, so does that mean we have to stealth game? 
Okay, that's the basement, apparently. Do what's here. A save point? I guess we'll use that. I'm sure to agree if it's consensual. No. Okay, I guess we're going with the other two. Crow just forgot we existed? Okay, it is stealth game. Oh no. Oh, hi. This place is swimming with securities. We could sneak past them or avoid them altogether if we find another route. Another route, you say? I didn't know there was another route. Oh, we have a game going, chat. Welcome. Who are we playing? Why is it not me? <laughs> I agree with Shaka. Okay, no, we, we can't find another route outside. So the only other route is if we find one inside, sure. Oh, wow. Graham, you got caught out by Automod this time. You're not having a good time. I don't really want to approve dumb bitch as a tub. Um, <laughs> I will let everyone know that Graham was calling themselves a dumb bitch. Uh, and not anyone else. Okay, well, security number one is pretty easy to get past. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? You can't be in this building. Get out. Really? Really? So I just can't go in that. That's just a, a, a cheeky, a cheeky room that's a trap. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you, Artie, for for bonking everyone. Very noble of you. Oh, you just stood there like that, are you? I guess we have. I guess this is where the other route comes from. Comes into play. Luckily, he doesn't know there's a hole in the wall. What a fool! Thank you, RT. This is bit dizzy here. Kaylin's voice coming from inside. So if we get caught, we get kicked out. But when Kaelin got caught, he's he's beating everyone up. <laughs> I, I think I'm I'm sensing where Graham is going with this. It's you guys. What are you doing? What does it look like? I finally realized something. If we can defeat securities, we'll really have conquered all this, uh, satellite. Come on, guys, join me. Let's take these guys on. Not thinking straight. You can't expect to win against them all. Oh no! It's the police! Like, more of them! Dizzy, you and Kaylin head back to the hideout straight away. I'll be right behind you as soon as I find Crow and Jack. Okay. Rats! <laughs> I'm gonna take me alive. I guess we got it! They can't do anything like ganging, ganging up and bullying people. Kaylin, you're in a gang! <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone made it back. What was the point in this episode? This is not the time for the thug god, though. We should lay low until all this blows over. What are you talking about? I know we can't take them all on at once. If we take them out little by little, we can win. We're the enforcers. It should be no problem for us. It says, wasn't he just bullying a child? It, yes! Yes, he was, Boom Boom! <laughs> We're a serious team. Going up against all of them would just be stupid. We don't know unless we try. It's not like there's an infinite number. We've got to think carefully before just diving into a battle. Safety of satellite is riding on our shoulders. Oh yeah, we're gonna 
defeat the police by beating them in a children's card game. I think we should at least stay here today. If we're out and about, we can be spotted at any time. In a way! There's a ton of securities out there. We know you're in there. Come out peacefully with your hands up. Looks like we've got no way out. Time to drive off a bridge, I guess? Question mark? <coughs> no, we can't. There's no way. What? Even if all of us fight, there's no way we can win this one. Things will get way out of hand. And innocent bystanders can get hurt! <laughs> oh, King Girl, spicy. Well, for what it's worth, we will be playing Rock, Paper, Scissors at the start of every duel. Sorry, I had to go quiet there for a second. Blow me nose. Can't tell you, just trust me. Are you sure about this? Well, what a, a way to needlessly add dramatic tension by not telling us what the plan is. I he says beating them up is the easy way. Can we resist the losses are gonna be huge? There's only four of you! <clears throat> even if we escape this time, we'll have an even bigger mess to get ourselves out of next time. <laughs> What's the plan? Crow, Jack, and Kaylin, you three sneak out the back. Go to the bowling alley. Dizzy, you come with me. This... I don't like this plan already. This is a terrible plan. But also, I like how his plan is sneak out the back. Like, if we can just sneak out the back, then well, why aren't we all sneaking out the back? Are we going to have, like, an epic last stand at the front door to keep them distracted? Is that what we're doing? You know that's why they said we're surrounded. It means that we can't sneak out the back. I'll just turn myself in. The same day that they'll just arrest me and you guys avoid trouble. When all the securities are gone, go to the bowling alley, explain what happened. You guys are all irreplaceable friends. I'm gonna do whatever I can. Our bond is the most important thing. <clears throat> Sorry to make you the bearer of bad news, but I'm counting on you. Do you have my back? Thank you. I do have your back. I'm not sure why I'm following you, though. Like, now they're just going to arrest me, too. Nobody else has anything to do with it. Do -do -do. What's wrong? Go ahead, arrest me. You're ordered to arrest the leader of the Enforcers. Which is exactly why we don't have any need for you guys. Now go home! Can you imagine that? <clears throat> Look over there. I told you they couldn't just sneak out the back. By the way, we already sent home the two that were with him. They tried to resist, it was futile. Rebelling against security is a very serious crime. Don't expect to see him again anytime soon. You say, you sold me out. You betrayed me. No, I didn't, I swear. I thought we were friends, you say. Oh, he's being dragged away. Hmm. Well, rip to that guy. But, I mean, he was a dick, so... With this, although the Enforcers were able to conquer all the satellites, that was their final achievement together. <coughs> I wonder if Ken will be okay. No. There we go. Easy answer. Okay, sleepy time. Cheap bed with a rock hard mattress. Oh, okay. We're not actually sleeping? On the call of the day? Okay. Yes. I'm gonna get some rest too. Hello? Wakey wakey! See, I've finally gotten through to you. Oh! This is the spirit world! Okay. This may all seem like a dream. It's not a dream, it's real. 
This is where the spirits of the dual monsters live. This is not what I expected. Now an evil presence is making its way closer to this world. It's trying to corrupt this land and control it for its own evil ways. It has the same fate in mind for the human world. If the spirit world is overtaken, the human world will shortly follow. There's a girl in the human world who's the only person that can save this land. Is it me? She is connected with the spirit world and her pure heart, okay, it's not me, can drive back the evil that threatens us. She's still young, does not yet have the courage she needs to face the evil alone. You also have a soul that is connected to this world, just not a pure one. Please go and do whatever you can. Okay, sure. <clears throat> I guess. Oh, morning, Itsuki. You're sweating. Are you okay? Are you sure? You say so. Don't push yourself. Who has been out since early this morning? Oh, damn it. Hi, Crow. Welcome back. You were sleeping pretty heavy there. You okay? You're not feeling sick. Weird dream. You're in the spirit world. Oh. Hello, who's this? Saya. He says he says things. And also he listens to us saying things. Some kind of message. Probably just a dream. There's no world crisis going on. She might be an important clue in the spirit world puzzle. Not quite what I expected though. This could be just the chance I was looking for. I'll have to capture her and do some research. Um. Ah. Uh, ask nicely first. There sure are a lot of securities around here recently. Well, no, Sherlock. You know that after us or not? I wouldn't get too close to him if I were you. I'm gonna talk to Kaylin after things cool down a bit. Crow, he's in prison. At best. Don't know if there's anything we can do. Also, a lot of rumours about some weird guys. Stay sharp. Nice to meet you. I'm Saya of the Arcadian Movement. Oh, the Arcadian Movement was where we were in, like, the prologue bit. I'd like to talk to you for a moment. Do you have a few minutes? Would you, are you interested in hearing about our Lord and Saviour? Uh... Someone. <laughs> His husbands have visited sometimes. That's true, I guess. I, it didn't strike me as though the securities were the type to run a prison with visiting times, or, or the type to actually throw you in prison instead of just like dumping you in the river with with concrete around your feet. But I wouldn't say you think so, dear. Don't worry, I'm not going to harm you. Trust me, I'm not anyone to be scared of. I told exactly who I was. What do you say? Will you trust? me? I see. In that case, I have no choice but to take you by force. Didn't want it to come to this. I guess this is how it must be. Wait, he's using brain control on me? Your mind has been controlled by Saiyan's psychic power. Stop trying to resist. I should wrap this up quickly. I can't afford for my work to be exposed. Oh, he didn't even challenge me to a children's card game. You should be proud. You'll be the recipient of my powerful brainwashing techniques. This is why my character doesn't show up in the anime. <laughs> well. You remember something forgotten from your past. One time, you, you say, and all of you say's friends fought together side by side in satellite. Oh, hello. Say, the subject is awake now. I'm going to need a more powerful regiment. I think you mean regimen of brainwashing if the subject is to do our bidding. This has gone rather dark, says Boom Boom. It has! Quite quickly! And it will strengthen the resistance when coming into contact with close friends. What? The effect is wearing off? Speed up the process! Increase the output. Make sure the brainwashing is never again reversed. Sir! Life signs are too weak! It's dangerous! To a certain extent, I'm not worried about the danger. <laughs> Might 
become just like that time with that boy? Oh no. And it says you did get a nice dress out of this. I guess. I've never really worn, like, a... Uh... I don't know what you call the, the thing that flops down. Because it's not a full skirt. It's like a, a flop down in front and a flop down behind. I can't remember what they're called. I've never worn one of those in real life. I feel like they would be very irritating and inconvenient. Because they'd, like, bang against your legs all the time. This kind of incomplete brainwashing, who knows when it will be reversed. Oh, it appears we have an intruder. I'll handle this personally. In the meantime, place the subject in a cell. We'll continue again after consciousness is regained. Oh, good. Wonderful. This isn't very much of a cell. Hi. This keeps happening. You could one day be fatal. Oh, good. Thanks, Syria. How could this all be worth it? Didn't we say we wouldn't make that same mistake again? Okay, so you've already killed one person, and now you're going to kill me as well. Oh, hello? I'm being held prisoner in the spirit world. Please help me. I mean, to be fair, this is the nicest bed I've slept in a long time. Partly because it doesn't have crow in it. Um, to answer the voice calling out to you, your consciousness travels to the spirit world. Sure, why not? New chapter! Amazing! <laughs> okay. Here we are. There's a stuff stuck at the foot of a seedling. I don't know enough Yu Gi Oh cards to know whose stuff it is. We've gone through so much dialogue, I definitely have to save. Although, my throat will not handle having to say it all again. Oh, this, uh... Hmm. Well. I don't think we're getting anywhere that way. I, I don't know what you want me to do, game, to be honest. Um... Hello? Hello? Am I being dense? There's absolutely nothing else I can do with this. I can save, I can look at the seedling. I also can't seem to access any menus from here. Okay? Am I being slow? Or thick? Oh, I can click on the tree. Big tree is blocking the path. Right. Oh, I forgot about the strange way the dress moves. <laughs> Stuff looks like it can be pulled out. You obtained minus star. Oh! A big tree started to grow from where the stuff was pulled out. Well, this is the start of reversible tree growth, obviously. with this staff. Use the minus staff. It says it's unvisit, says Jacka. <laughs> Wonderful! Turn the big tree into a small seedling. Stuff also disappeared. Seems like those staves can reverse natural phenomena. Okay. It is, it is an interesting way of I suppose it prevents the dress from being too inconvenient by banging against your legs. <laughs> Minus staves are sticking out of the ground here and there. Maybe you can use them. Press the Y button to retry. Okay. Imagine Babe leading your way through a crowd in a dress like that! Alright. Right. Okay. 
Okay. So there's a a tree with a thing in it. Sure. I can't cross the river here. Unless I can maybe... It says reverse natural phenomenon, so maybe I can stop the river from somewhere? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Bridges down looks like it happened recently. Use a minor stock. No, not just yet. I assume I can grab this. Well, the stars effect reverse the growth of the plants. Oh. Oh! Can I undo the box being emptied? <gasps> oh my god! I've just stolen something from someone. Somehow. Oh, very interesting. Has that made all the trees small or just that tree small? Just made that tree small. It's going to take a long time to try all of the trees. Oh, we have to do this all the time. We did that tree. We'll shrink this tree. Nothing happens. I guess we'll shrink the other tree. Cool. Nothing happened. Okay. We'll head back and reset again. Oh my god. Ugh. Stuff. Stuff. Use this on the river. Or maybe I'm using this on the bridge. Ah, I'm using this on the bridge. Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay. Never mind. I can. I can. I can un undo the bridge. Sure. Oh my god, you really don't have to tell me every time, game, I promise. Hmm. Okay. I assume I have to do this to the bridge. But I'm not quite sure what, what to do next. I can't, like, break this bridge. Oh! Oh, I can do the waterfall. Oh, uh oh, that would sound good. Okay, so now I can get across here. Sure. Oh, there's another tree. Might have to do. <clears throat> I might have to go and get more staffs. Oh, there is another staff here. Can I? Okay, so what can I do with this bridge? Oh, there's lots of moving parts I can use the staffs on. Look, <laughs> they're currently destroyed. <laughs> Why? What, what is with this bridge construction, huh? I'm also not really sure what the purpose of that is in terms of, like... ...the puzzle, either. Hmm. 
Okay, so the staff here. Staff here. Bridge is down, and I can't get it back from this side. That's fine. Stop the water here. What's that noise? What is that noise? Hmm. Okay, let's try on the wheel. Probably the water will stopping, maybe. Nice well, effect reverse time, the water mill started moving backwards. Okay. But why? I also wonder if I'm going to need two minus stars to get this down. Because I only have one. I also wonder if I'm going to need a minus stuff to get through that door. Another minor stuff to do that, which means we need to go back. Weird. Maybe it'll do something if I. Oh, I guess it's it's so that I can come back. That's why there's the staff there and the bridge. Okay, right. I understand now. I don't know why the water wheel can go backwards. Do. Turn off the waterfall. Oh, I wonder maybe. Maybe I can. Well, no, 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 no. Maybe I can put the water wheel back on. And then turn off. Turn the waterfall back on. Maybe that will do something interesting. I don't know what it could possibly do. Interesting. Where's the other stuff? There's the other stuff. Okay. Okay. Let's turn the thingy back on. Seems to get to fact sure. Okay, what's the water mill doing? It's going backwards, but is it doing anything? Answer I don't think so. Okay. We'll go and get that thing down from the tree this time. And then hopefully we can just go on through the gate. I guess I, 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 maybe I'm approaching this too much like a, like a sort of a Schrodinger's thing where everything has to, has to mean something. Maybe some things are just there for flavor. Someone. Ooh, Dark Bribe. Oh, Dark Bribe is a fantastic card to have. That's amazing. That's a really good fight. I'm glad I did that. Door seems to be closed shut. I hear a voice from somewhere. Gate to town of Schwank. Seems to be opened by the watermill when it's running. Use your minor staff wisely. 
Go to the other side and get the water not working, then there's still the open water up here. Okay. I see, that's what the, the noise was then. Okay, well that's fine. We have to leave and come back, because we need more stars, but that's fine. Do do do! Okay, so... The puzzle solution is... Turn this off, make the full bridge, and then turn this back on. I think. There we go. Oh, no, 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 not just yet, not just yet. It's an awful lot of walking. Like, when, you're, when, I, when I'm walking downwards, the skirt billowing doesn't seem so sort of uh, egregious, as it were. It's only when I'm... It's only when I'm going sideways. <laughs> I forgot to grab the other stuff. That's fine. Turn the waterfall back on. Okay, door should be open. The gate of the town is opened due to the power of the water wheel. Amazing. Found the spirit world village. Hello, Taranka. Over here, hide over here. Oh, there's evil monkeys. This evil monkey is called Zale. Hi there. You check there, me check here. Oh, it's good those monkeys are stupid. Hi. That was a close call. They almost found us. I'm Taranka. You're a human. You must be real special then. If you're here, it means you are chosen. Those goons back there belong to Zeman the Ape King. He controls this land. The demon's been catching many a spirit with a curse using a minus star. I tried to escape. I got grazed by the curse. That's why I'm short and ugly now. Oh, Pat! I really am a handsome and accomplished spellcaster. <laughs> Is this the baby dark magician? Is this a boy? <laughs> um, what's with that look? You don't believe me, do you? Open your eyes. Just take a look. In this hollow shell of a town, the proof's right here. What? You weren't doubting that part? Then what? So you don't think I could have been a handsome and accomplished spellcaster, is that it? Kids these days have got no respect! Take a look at some of my magic. Perhaps you could use a little something like this right now. Okay. It's a deck. You received your deck. Did you just steal my deck from me? And then give it back and call it magic? That's like stage magic. The cards I just called forth can only be used in this world. If you don't have them all in the real world, then you've got to go find them there yourself. The truth is, I can't use magic so well with this tiny body. I just don't have the confidence! <laughs> King says, Couldn't think of it, Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl have T Boy swag and T Girl vibes, right? Or is that just me? I I don't know, King Girl! I. <laughs> I can't say I've ever looked at Dark Magician Girl and said, T Girl swag. And I definitely have never looked at Dark Magician and said T-Boy swag. Sorry, it was T-Girl vibes and T-Boy swag. They definitely have swag. I don't know that it's that specific a kind of swag. Um... <laughs> ah. The accomplished spellcaster took your deck and gave it back, it's all good. 
<laughs> Small people can't do magic well. Oh no. Oh, don't tell Pen and Teller, um, because Teller is tiny. Uh, truth is, I can't use magic with a tiny body. Blah 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 blah. What do you say? Will you deal with me so I can check and see if my magic still works? Sure. I don't think that's how magic works. Oh, poor Shaka. I'm sure you could. Back in the day, it was pretty hot stuff. There's no need to go easy on me. I suppose, to be fair, King Girl, I don't think I've ever met a trans girl who wouldn't cosplay as Dark Magician Girl given the opportunity. <laughs> oh my god, the King Girl says more or less literally just the same thing. Um, I don't know. I, I don't find the the Dark Magician, the base one, I don't find that a very compelling costume. So I can't imagine anyone being that... <laughs> I, don't, I don't imagine anyone being that interested in cosplaying him. Oh. Oh, are we playing like a mirror match almost? <laughs> That's quite funny. Do -do -do. Set something, set something else. And phase. What have we got? Okay. Let's throw down Breaker. Fleet Weasels, I have to step away from this topic! Oh my gosh. Let's pop your magical city. No, thank you. Then, spell power. It's a shame I don't have more spell power grasps. Those would be a big boon to this deck if I had more of them. Just because they, they replenish themselves from your deck if you have multiples. Ah! Also have I'm not sure why you didn't use that. I mean, it doesn't control a face-up monster, I see, that's why. Oh my god, it's GMS with the Ice Barrier. A different ice barrier spell cost the tuna to my one. <laughs> spell with one card to let Kyle one attribute. This card cannot be set to pet other monsters with that attribute. Okay, well that's probably better than my one in terms of the effect. Because I, I never use the effect of my ice barrier because I only have one ice barrier. And my ice barrier needs you to have more than one ice barrier. Oh, we yeah, you got another one. <laughs> oh, and you've got a defender. Now your defender is gonna suicide into my thing, except it's not suicide because you've got defender. <laughs> That's so annoying. But you know what's gonna be really oh, interesting. I was about to say you know what's gonna be even more annoying is when. I'd summon my defender and do the same thing, but I guess not. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll throw down skill dark. Is it worth? Suiciding Breaker to get rid of Defender, do we think? That's the real question. <sighs> I'm inclined to say yes. I think Defender is going to be more consistently useful to them than Breaker is to me, because Breaker is hard to recharge. Defender is easy to recharge. Because <clears throat> Defender just uses one spell counter from anywhere, and obviously they have Endymion, which gets spell counters really easily. The only comfort is that I have skilled Dark, which will level up. Never mind! <laughs> Never mind! <laughs> Amazing! The timing. Right. What have you given me? Knight and Sorcerer. Well, it's dead now. Um, oh, not helpful. Okay, well, rude. Ooh, 
shrink. We do like a shrink, though. Let's throw out the fender. This is really unfortunate, <laughs> but he's got skill dark. Um, because the skill dark probably can actually be useful in his deck and can. I'm guessing he's running Dark Magician. <laughs> oh dear. It's fine. That's what Shrink is for. I'm worried that we're loading up Magical Citadel. No? I, I couldn't use the effect of Defender even if I wanted to. Um. <laughs> of course, he's having seen his hat. Yeah. Is, is it worth MSTing to get rid of that face down? I think the answer is yes. At this rate, I might end up actually summoning Dark Magician the normal way. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Uh, thank you for the hydrate redeem, MB. Uh, MB. Unfortunately, I am out of fluids, but uh, we are nearly at the end of the stream. One way or another, this is the last deal of the stream, so I will make sure I go and grab some fluid afterwards. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Also, hi, MB. How's it going? Ooh, mage power. Yes, please. This is a bit more like it. Give me a bit of a heftier sword. Copy chop. Going decently. I am glad. I, I am no longer quite as glad for unrelated reasons. <clears throat> Tricky? Oh, not the tricky! Oh no! Oh no, he's better than me. Yes! I can use Defender's Effect! I forgot I still had a counter on Defender. Ow. Well, at least Defender can outwall the tricky. Even if I can't do much else. Right, what's a good draw here? Um. Uh, Flambelle Guardian is a good draw here. That is not that great of a draw here, if I'm honest. I'm still gonna set it because it still might let me get out. If he doesn't draw and summon a monster, then that still might let me get out Dark Magician next turn. You're dead, that's fine. Get out Mandragora. Ooh, Mirror Force. We do like a Mirror Force. There is this would be actively harmful for me to do that effect. Okay, we are indeed normal summoning Dark Magician. 
I can't quite believe it myself. <laughs> Get wrecked. Down the mirror force, just in case this person actually is running something good in their deck that we haven't seen so far. Ooh, skill dark. This will help us get our regular dark magician back from the graveyard if something happens to it. And more importantly, will help us actually finish this opponent off. Attacky, attacky. Boop. Okay. Oh, that's right! This has been acting up again, I think he just said. Oh my god! Be a pretty stonkingly good card for you to not lose here. Hmm. It was, it was, I mean, it's a solid card, but it was not a good enough card. Get wrecked. What? What? I'm kind of disappointed that Skilled Dark Magician doesn't look anything like Dark Magician. Like, I feel like Skilled Dark Magician should be dressed like this person. They should be like a little baby Dark Magician cosplayer, you know? Hi, you did pretty well. Guess you can. I can come along with you now without any worry. Because my magic is so perfectly exquisite! You get an A for effort. I'll give you a reward. I beat you. I mean, I'll take the reward. Magical mallet. Mm. An interesting card. Now we know the deck is okay. We better get going. It says he reminds me of Howl. Is that Howl of Howl's Moving Castle? I have not seen Howl's Moving Castle. I think of it. Maybe I never mentioned that. I didn't ask you for a favor a little while back. Oh really? I guess it just slipped my mind. It's no fun getting old, I tell you. <laughs> Looks like I better ask them. Please help me rescue Luna. That's all. What do you mean you don't understand? I'll just start from the beginning. Oh god, so much dialogue! There's now one other human in this world besides you. That human holds the key to releasing the ancient fairy dragon. Okay. She's actually a child named Luna. She protected me and was captured by Zeman's goons. I really want to go and rescue her to repay my debt. I want to help the spirit world too, I want to save them both. Problem is, I don't think I can rescue her by myself, so I need you to help me. Shaka fell asleep to Hell's Moving Castle last night. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh, do you also watch Hell's Moving Castle last night? Interesting. <laughs> Let me help me, please. If I have to go in there by myself, I'll surely get caught. Then both Luna and I will be gobbled up by those monsters! Over <laughs> the indignity! Sure, we're gonna help. We're a protagonist. We are weekly Ghibli night in the den. Ooh, very nice. Okay, I really could do with a save point. Um okay, I can't I can't I can't get out. I have to find a save point. Somewhere further on. Um, skirt around the edges, trying not to hit any. Oh, is that safe? That's a safe. Okay, alright. And he says, Ghibli Night is a high point of my week. Aww. <clears throat> well, you're all super sweet. And that is, uh, unfortunately, all we have time for today. I've been going on for three hours, and you can hear my voice is, uh, is suffering a little bit. Uh, but don't you go anywhere just yet, because I am going to send you all out on a wee little raid, as I like to do. Let me just see who might be alive. 
Yeah, they don't. My friend Quietus is live, who we haven't raided in a while, but she is playing Dead Space, which is not my jam. Kaya Coliseum, who we raided into ages ago, is doing a Pokemon XG Gale of Darkness Nuzlocke, which I think is like a, a, a ROM hack of Gale of Darkness, which I'm intrigued by. Other than that... There is someone on live who I follow playing Super Mario RPG. I'm guessing there's nobody else live playing this. Let's uh, let's see if anybody else is live on the Yu Gi Oh tag and what they might be doing. Some Master Deal, lots of Master Deal, some Deal Links. I want an old Yu Gi Oh. Someone's playing Pokemon Emerald. Someone is illegally streaming. The Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Um, this person is apparently playing Legacy of the Duelist. But it looks like they're actually playing Supermarket Simulator. Okay, let's go and say hi to uh, Kaya then. We haven't said hi to Kaya in a while. Do slash raid. Alright, so you know the drill. You're a wonderful bean. Kai is a wonderful bean who uh, who did some raided us one time and has made uh, an interesting Pokemon Coliseum ROM hack thing, which is uh, very terrifying and intimidating to look at. Um, be wonderful for them. Uh, I will be back tomorrow. I still don't really know what I'm going to be playing, but it will be something. It. It is still up in the air whether I'm going to be streaming on Friday. If I'm not going to be streaming on Friday, then tomorrow will be uh, Game Demos Day, probably. Uh, in the meantime, you can find me on my YouTube channel down in the description, or if you're watching this on YouTube, say hi uh, in the comments. Make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing. Who likes this overlay? This overlay is from uh, Legacy of the Duelist, I think. Uh, this is one of the other Yu-Gi-Oh games that I played, albeit only briefly, on the channel. Um, yeah, if you're if you're watching on YouTube, drop a like, consider subscribing, and also consider coming over to us on Twitch. If you're here on Twitch and you haven't already, please do drop a follow so you can come see me do more of this. I'm hoping to do more of this series now that I'm back into doing it, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, my name has been Diddy. Thank you all so much for joining me. I love you all. All of you wonderful people in the chat. I don't have time to list off all your names, but thank you so much for being here and goodbye. Bye!